A couple of months ago, I released a video talking about why Mob B was the best choice for Minecraft. Now, a few months later, we get to take a look at this new and exciting beast. Minecraft Snapshot 18W07A is officially out, and with this release brings the long-awaited Minecon Earth voted Mob B, otherwise known by its new official name, the Phantom. Alongside the Phantom, a plethora of new and interesting features have been added which we will cover in a future video soon enough. In this video, however, we're going to take a look at what we said about our predictions regarding this new mob, and talk about whether or not changes need to be or should be made to it. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. In our original video, we had pretty high hopes for the Phantom, wondering how it would react in certain situations. We wonder if it'd be able to fly through blocks similar to the Ender Dragon and destroy blocks like the Creeper and the Wither. And we wondered how random his spawn rate was, among other things. After toying around with the mob in game, we found out a few interesting facts about our guesses. First things first, Phantoms do not currently break through or go through blocks at all. It's arguably even a little bit disappointing how easy it is to avoid it currently. Something that we hoped for was the mob would be a little more hostile in terms of how it would seek out the player, but the Phantom's AI and its mannerisms are really simple right now. When the mob attacks the player, it swoops down and attempts to hit it by quickly swiping at you with its body. Sometimes, the mob will even pause when it's about to attack, correct its aim in midair, and then swoop in. All in all, the mob is fairly easy to dodge as quickly running out of the way gets the job done. If you think that the Phantom will be swooping into caves to find you anytime soon though, you probably shouldn't get your hopes up. Right now, it seems like it looks for your location and then just follows your location above ground until you come out of said cave system. Needless to say, if you don't sleep while you are in a cave, be prepared to immediately get attacked if you leave one after caving for more than an hour and a half or so. If the Phantom does manage to swoop into a cave, it probably will just glitch out for a while as it'll have to correct itself to get out. I imagine that this will more than likely get patched for it to not get stuck and it'll also get patched for it to not just be ignored by the player by the player just running away or something. While we also thought that the mob would spawn in just the overworld, it will apparently be spawning in the end as well. Not being able to sleep in the end already offers a bit of challenge for avoiding the phantom if you're in search of an end city for a long period of time, so this will certainly make the trek more difficult rather than just avoiding eye contact with Enderman. In terms of the spawn rate of the phantom, from players reports, it takes about an hour and a half or so of in-game time for the phantom to appear, and then multiple of them will appear. I did some digging through the world's level.dat file and the player's dat file within the world, but found no specific entry for anything related to a specific phantom spawn time, so it's yet to be determined if there is an exact amount of time that it takes for this mob to spawn. So, as disappointingly easy to avoid this mob as it is, it's arguably almost as easy to fight the thing. Setting the difficulty too hard, this mob deals approximately 4.5 hearts of damage when hit. Wearing diamond armor, it'll deal approximately 1 heart. To stop its attacks, all you have to do is either shoot it with a bow and arrow, attack it with a sword, or block it with a shield. Yeah, that's all it takes right now. To kill the mob, all you have to do is shoot an arrow at it when it attacks three separate times. Every time the mob is hit, it'll go up into the air, canceling the attack it was about to hit you with. Even hitting the mob with the sword is super easy. While it may get a few attacks in on you that way, there's almost nothing to be worried about if you're wearing armor or have a shield. When it's killed, the Phantom currently drops leather. I imagine that this one is probably just a placeholder for a future drop that Mojang either doesn't want to spoil us with or they're still coming up with. Leather just seems like an odd choice right now, so hopefully that does change. An even funnier way to kill the Phantom in Minecraft right now is to literally just hop in an ocean. Right now, the mob kind of glitches out when it's surrounded by water. While he can certainly attack you underwater, if you stay inside the water, it'll have a hard time getting out. Sure enough, like other mobs, the Phantom currently drowns very easily. Something funny about the Phantom is that you can actually spawn it in varying sizes. Using this command will allow you to change the overall size of the mob. 
Right now, aside from slimes, it seems to be the only mob that you can change the size of. Whether or not this will be a feature of the mob later in the game is unknown. However, it could make for an interesting mechanic for combat if varying size one spawns, depending on how long it's been since you've last slept. Well, this is obviously an incomplete mob because of how the mob reacts when you're in caves, how it reacts to water, and a lot of other things, we probably shouldn't judge it at face value right now. Mojang will obviously be changing many aspects of the Phantom. However, in regards to combat, the mob seems to be a bit of a pushover right now. Being able to kill it in only three hits with a bow and arrow seems extremely easy, especially because this mob was supposed to be classified as a boss mob. The fight almost seems scripted because of how predictable its flight patterns are. The Phantom is a great addition to the game, but it definitely needs to be improved upon before the final release of 1.13. But what do you think? Do you think that this mob was the right choice? Should it have been one of the other mobs? Let me know in the comments section down below. But other than that, that just about does it for me for now. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like on it because it would really help out myself and Michael McChill, who co-wrote and edited this video, the channel and the video quite a lot. But anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Antvenom and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.